you know why we're here. Today we have uh, Jenny's ice cream, goat cheese with red cherries. Now in the past, I um, sort of shied away from ice cream that had like fruit in it. It wasn't really my bag. But if um, this whole Jenny's journey has taught me anything is that I no longer am afraid of out there flavors um, or even things with just, you know, fruit in it. Um, because so far, all the ones I've had have been great. So I'm excited to try this one today. Um, but I remember there was a time where I was like nervous about it, um, but no more. The uh, story here says, uh, I first met Jean McKenzie of McKenzie Creamery at the farmer's market where I started making ice cream. She'd bring her small bash goat cheese every Saturday and I'd make it into ice cream right then and there. Her chevre is hands down the best I've ever tasted with fresh flavor and a clean finish. The result is an ethereal ice cream that tastes like the lightest cheesecake ever, which is why we pair it with tart red cherries and from scratch deep red cherry sauce. Uh, and I do love a cheesecake, so uh, that's great. I'm looking forward to this. The little description says, Mackenzie Creamery goat cheese and sweet tart bright red cherries. Mouth-watering and rich, it's like a scoopable cherry cheesecake. Ooh, it's pretty. Okay, so here's the top. Um, I, I had, set, had this sit out a little bit. Um, my freezer has been kind of a bitch lately and it's been um, like frosting for no reason. I don't know why, whatever. Um, so I had to let this sit out, but there's still like a ton of frost on the outside of the carton and there's a little bit of crystallization on the ice cream itself, even though it's brand new, it's a little frustrating, but it is not the ice cream's fault. I'm pretty sure it is my freezer's fault. So, um, but it's pretty. We got, you know, you could see the cherry swirl in there. There's the vanilla or the goat cheese ice cream, excuse me. It smells like cherries. It's good. I guess it's what you're gonna want it to smell like if it's cherry. All right, let's see here. I right, get a little spoonful. Wanna get that cherry swirl. Ooh. Look at that like bright little pocket of cherry swirl in there. All right, and some goat cheese. Let's go for it. Ooh. That's so nice. I think when I originally read like goat cheese, I was afraid that it would taste like like cheese. I only just recently started eating goat cheese, like actual goat cheese. So like, I might be a little late to the game here. Um, pretty mild cheese. And the ones that I have had had been paired with like, you know, cranberry goat cheese or blueberry goat cheese. So they've been like sweeter cheeses anyway. So I know it's supposed to play well together. Let's try another bite. Mm. Ooh. The cherry swirl is really nice too. It's really nicely balanced, you know, like the cherry really brings like a punch to the goat cheese base. Um, getting a little more of the swirl. Oh. I think the cherry swirl is my favorite part. Now this says that it has like cherries and like the flavor description had sort of suggested to me that there would have been chunks of cherries in this. And is this one? Oh, there are. Okay. I just haven't gotten one yet. There's one. You can kind of see me digging it out right now. Let me try that and see what that's all about. Ah, we got ice cream on my table. It's really good. I don't like it because... Uh, I like it because it's not, um, like, you know, just like a big gross chunk of fruit in there. It's, um, it's really nicely done and I'm sorry, I've had like 20 bites, but just give me a minute. I got to do a proper assessment, you know, I'm going to go in for just the goat cheese part right now. Yeah. It's just like a really delicate flavor. It's not too different from like um, a vanilla. Like I don't think you'd be, you should be too intimidated if you've never had a goat cheese ice cream before. It's like a smooth down to earth vanilla. I'm gonna rank this one. 
I'm gonna say a five. But let me tell you what, that might seem a little low. This didn't knock my socks off, but it's good. It's it's better than what I was afraid it would be initially going into it. Like when I first saw this on the website many moons ago, I was like, oh, I don't know. But it was sent to me. And by that point, I had become more comfortable with all these crazy flavors. Um, so it was better than what I initially expected it to be. But I'm like, you know, knock it out the park. I didn't, wasn't, I'm not gonna like recommend this one. Like if a friend asked me, hey, what for Jenny's flavor should I order? This probably wouldn't be one of them, but it's still totally good. And if you are in the mood for a cheesecake, but maybe don't like the heaviness of a cheesecake, this is a great alternative. Or if you, like, you feel like ice cream, but you can't decide if you want ice cream or cheesecake, this would be great too. Yeah, I think that's it for today. So I uh, hope you enjoyed.